I'm sitting here in Levi's room, which sounds so crazy to actually say his name out loud because Adam and I have been keeping his name a big secret. I'm sitting here on the ground with all of our bags packed and ready to go to the hospital. Levi's due date is November 7th. So I am two days away from being 40 weeks pregnant. Here is the belly. This is what almost 40 weeks looks like, I guess. Barely fitting in this jumpsuit. It's been quite the journey, but we are here two days away from the due date and it feels very, very surreal and I am so excited that we have finally made it here. Um, November 7th has been a date that Adam and I have talked about almost every single day for the last 10 months. <laughs> Yesterday, I had an appointment. I've been having an appointment every single week for the last, I think, like four weeks now. Each time she does a cervical check and so she'll see like if I'm, um, if my cervix is getting dilated more and how effaced it is. It has been 50% effaced for the last two weeks and um, it wasn't dilated at all. Yesterday I had an appointment and she told me that it is officially 0.5 centimeters <laughs> dilated, which is like basically nothing. I just was really bummed to hear that because, you know, my appointment was yesterday. My due date, like I said, is in two days and I'm like, what the heck? Like, it just feels like nothing is progressing. That was tough news. <laughs> um, my doctor was joking, saying that <laughs> she's like, you need to let your little guy know that he's going to get an eviction notice soon. Like, <laughs> he's going to need to move out soon. What she said is that I will go back again next Wednesday, so a week from yesterday. I'll go back, she'll check me again. She'll also strap this like belt thing around my stomach. We'll see if I actually make it to that appointment, but that is on the calendar. And she said at that point, if um, nothing is really progressing, then on Friday, which would be the 13th of November, she's gonna induce me. So. That is the plan. We'll see how all this goes down. And I will bring you guys along because I wanna document all of this. I just love to have it so that we can look back on it one day and one day be able to share it with Levi and show him like his whole birth story. It is officially November 7th, 2020. And today is Levi's due date, but he has not come yet. This is my official 40 week belly. And I have my brace on because my back was really hurting. And we are officially decorating for Christmas. Levi, if you're watching this. When you're watching this. When, you're, when you watch this, this is your first Christmas. It is November 8th at about 10.30 in the morning. We have been up since 3.30 a.m. because I have been in early labor. Right now, I am having contractions, but they're only like, they're pretty mild and they're happening probably every like 15 to 20 minutes. So we still have some time here at the house before we go to the hospital, but it's looking like today is baby day. This is what labor looks like in the Wagner household. How are you feeling, babe? <laughs> Great love. <laughs> Just made it to the hospital. Epidural, setting in. Lindsay couldn't talk 15 minutes ago. Now look at that smile. We're here until baby comes. You can hear his heartbeat. You can hear his heartbeat. On the monitor. Just got the shakes. You wanna tell us about the experience so far? Contractions were horrible. Were really painful. I didn't think I was gonna make it here in the car. And the 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 elevator coming up here, I was like this is horrible. And they put me in a wheelchair. And then they took me up here. And they told me I was seven centimeters dilated. And they strapped me all up. 
Okay, love. Nine centimeters dilated. Water just broke. How are you feeling? I'm so excited to meet our little guy. We're getting so close, but I'm feeling really tired because I've been awake since 3.30 in the morning. <laughs> yeah, it's now almost six o'clock at night. Yeah, is it? Oh. Doctor said another, probably in the next hour or two, baby's gonna be here. What are three emotions you're feeling right now? I feel excitement, anticipation, and also like kind of nervous because just the pushing, I don't know. I'm not really sure how the pushing is like gonna go down. This epidural is like the best thing that's ever happened to me. <laughs> but I can't feel anything beneath my waist down. Next update, we may Next have a baby update, in hand. We're gonna get to meet Levi. Get ready. <laughs> Maybe right. good thing about that part. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just that little scare. Got my sweet outfit on. Looking nice. Thank you, thank you. But we're all good, back on track. And Lindsay's officially in the pushing stage. And we, uh, we had, a, I guess, a heart rate drop uh, for Levi. And they ran Lindsay into the operating room. and But thankfully, he came back. and. Uh, didn't need to do a C-section, and now we're gonna push and meet our little guy here soon. First moment. Oh. You did it. I can't believe he's here. Hi, Levi. Hi. Dad holding Levi for the very first time. Feels right. <laughs> We're about to move to our room, our postpartum room. This is our last moment in this room. A lot down. went down in this room. <laughs> uh, got tacos as soon as I could. It's 1 a.m. The next day, we got Lindsay in her sweet bed. And sweet little Levi, all fed, diaper changed, and he is out. So, Lens. Yeah. How are you feeling right now? I am so exhausted. I can't believe it's already the next day. I've almost been awake for almost 24 hours straight. So, I'm pretty pooped, and it was a heck of a day. Also, I don't know, did you share already what happened earlier with the birth? I can't even remember. Okay, if we didn't fill you guys in yet, I'll do it real quick. I'll give you a recap. Gosh, let me think <laughs> what happened. First did your epidural. Yeah, that's um, what it was. His heart rate dropped, which yeah. they said is pretty normal, and then they just moved you and it came back. Yeah, that's, okay, so that happened first. Then we were, like, progressing normally, whatever. I got to 10 centimeters, and they were like, okay, it's almost time to push, and I'm like, great, let's do this. And all of a sudden, like, out of nowhere, they literally rush me down the hallway. Like, they unplug everything that I'm attached to. They rush me down the hallway, literally, like, sprint sprinting my bed. Like, it was one of these types of beds. So they take me to the operating room, and I'm thinking, oh my gosh, like, what's going on like some complications happening and they're like not telling me and I then I hear like overhear them talking and they're like talking about a c-section and I'm like oh no so we're now we're in the operating room his heartbeat like started to norm normalize again so they're like oh we don't need to do the um what is it? I'm so tired right now c-section the c-set yeah they're like we don't need to do the c-section we can do we can just have you push and I'm like okay so we're in the operating room and I'm pushing like normal now 
And then they get to a point after I push for a little bit, they're like, oh, we can actually bring you back to your normal room. Like, you're fine now. He's fine. And I was like, okay. So then they wheel me back to our normal room that we had been in previously. And they're like moving me, positioning me and whatever, because now I'm, they're trying to get me back into the old bed. And in the process of doing that, his heart rate again, like declines. And so then it's like another freak out. And so all these nurses pop in again, they're all like moving rapidly and you're like, okay, what's going on? Then his heart rate normalizes again. And the doctor comes back in and he's like, we're gonna use a vacuum. He needs to come out like right now. <laughs> I'm like, okay, please act, that'd be great. Like, let's just get him out at this point. He was crazy and it just felt like it was like up and down. It's was like, oh, he's not fine, he's fine. He's not fine, he's fine. Sprinting down the hallway to the, you know, the room and then back, it was just was like a lot. I guess what happened was the umbilical cord was like wrapped around his neck very lightly. So it wasn't like dangerous, but it still was kind of scary and it still was impacting him. And he was also sunny side up. So I guess those two things in conjunction cause like I don't know. He was like having a hard time basically getting through. Like he was, yeah. like you were pushing and he was coming, but he was coming really slow. Yeah. And it was becoming really hard on both of you. Yeah, basically. Yeah. That's a good way of putting it. He's here. Everything is fine, but it just was like very chaotic for a little bit and stressful. And I had no idea what was going on. Adam didn't know what was going on. Literally all day, everything was fine. I think that happened at what, like eight, seven? Yeah, it was like the last yeah. two hours. Anyway, so it was, a, it was crazy. It was a lot. And, um, but we're all good. He's here and we're gonna try to get some sleep now. I'm so tired right now that I just can't fill out the forms that they want me to fill out right now. I'm like, can I just go to sleep? So we're gonna do that. We can get a couple hours of sleep at least before I have to feed him again. So, you know, mom life. It's the morning after, we got smiles. Mama got two, two hours. hours of sleep. Little Levi just got his very first bath. And he apparently hated it. <laughs> but he looks very content now. This is our view out of our window. <laughs> Not much going on out there. Actually, we're in a hospital. <laughs> I'm a pretty good burger, I have to say. <laughs> Sweet boy. Hey, Levi. Levi, you happy after, what's that thing? It's <laughs> loving that milk, yes. <laughs> yes, mom, this is what I wanted. <laughs> Morning two. They said we're getting discharged today. We got a few more things to check off the list, so we'll see when that happens. It's almost 10 o'clock now. I got some photos, like this is his first outfit that mom ever put him in. <laughs> last night at about 12 after he fed for the last time my mama fell asleep and um, I hung out with them for three or four hours and it was the sweetest thing ever I mean it was so cute and such a bonding moment it was the most time we've had together just him and me no interruptions and it was awesome we're still in the hospital today is actually my mom's birthday so I texted her this morning saying happy birthday and she was like you gave me the best gift ever. So, can't beat that gift, you know? Mm -hmm. I definitely outdid my brothers on that one this year. <laughs> um, anyway, so we're sitting here in the hospital. We're still in our postpartum room. I actually just put on clothes, like actual human clothes. A little makeup on, just like foundation, which, you know, makes me feel alive eating some mangoes. I'm so hungry ever since starting breastfeeding. I'm like, I don't, my body is just like so hungry and thirsty all the time. But we're supposed to be getting discharged in the next little bit. They are gonna come back and check on him to check on the bleeding from the surgery. And then um, we're just waiting for one more check that they need to do, which is his hearing check. So hopefully she'll come soon and they'll give us the green light to go home so that will be really exciting we're gonna get to put him in his little car seat take him home show him the new well his new house it's gonna be great we can't wait and it just feels so surreal that we have our little guy here my stomach is growling so loud i don't know if the camera caught that but did you hear that no well okay Thanks. 
This is too big for him. <laughs> this is his going home outfit. We got him all ready. We have our bags packed. We are about to get discharged to go home. Adam's gonna go run down to the car and get our car seat to make sure that they, it passes the inspection. And he's ready to go home. He passed all his exams and the pediatrician said he's perfect. And I agree, I think he's very perfect. If I don't say so myself. Aww. All right, we're heading home. COVID mass and all. Taking Levi with us. He's it's first the, ride. He's in the car, look. All ready to go. Welcome to your new home, Levi. Looking really alert, huh? So excited. <laughs> He's so excited he can hardly contain himself. <laughs> Bad memories. That ball. <laughs> Get it out of here. This was so sweet. Luke, Carrie, Leah, Jason, you guys have outdone yourselves. Delicious snacks. I am overwhelmed right now with the amount of love. This is so sweet. Thank feel, you, thank you guys. We feel so loved so right now. Good. Like all of our favorite snacks, some adorable balloons, flowers. We are gonna end the vlog here. Thank you guys for coming along on this crazy birth journey that we just endured for the last three days, four, three days, two days. <laughs> The days. Nine months. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you guys for watching our birth story, or I guess Levi's birth story. And we mostly did this because we want him to watch it when he gets older so that he can be a part of what happened and can feel like, you know, he was in on everything that we felt and wanted him to know and went through and all that. So wanted to mostly document it for ourselves and for him, but we really appreciate you guys watching too and following along and being a part of it with us. Your support means everything and we are just so, so grateful that we are home, safe, happy, healthy. And now we are a party of three. three. Also, Levi, this message is for you whenever you watch this in the future. We just want you to know how much we love you. Our lives feel like they have restarted today and just everything has changed. You see the world in different lives. We can't wait to grow up with you, to watch you grow up, and be a part of every single moment of your life. It was a joy from the beginning, and so many, so many memories ahead of all of us. Love you, buddy.